not cheat on the husband or the wife with somebody else who they're not married to. Sin will make them do that. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, the Bible says all have sinned and fallen short the glory of God. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you this morning, it's rude, right? It's pretty rude. Yeah. No, I got you. Keep going. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, one day you will stand before God, and you will have to give an account for the life that you have lived. Must be really out of ideas to be shouting at people on the subway. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you, please don't commit fornication. Let me tell you what fornication is. Fornication is this, if you are not married, and you're having sex outside the marriage, it is still a sin, ladies and gentlemen. And I want to tell you, Jesus, he wants to forgive you for that sin. Young man. <laughs> now I just want to listen to what you have to say. Since it's really important, you got to yell at people on the subway. Very nice doors, please. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you. It's rough, right? One day you will end up in hell. Try and act serious on the subway. Please don't go to hell, ladies and gentlemen. Totally. Young man, God bless you. I got all sorts of ideas. I want to tell you, too. Jesus is watching what you are doing. Absolutely. I just don't bring it I want to the tell you. Yeah, I just keep quiet during the morning. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you this morning. Nobody really wants to hear it. You know. Jesus. Well, your ideas he aren't. He is the answer for the world today. This is if awesome, you're looking though. for someone to love you, try Jesus. Jesus will love you. Men will love you. Definitely. When they could get something from you and when they can't get it. They will curse you and call you all kind of shot. name. I just got to get a good angle. angle. Yeah. Just got to make sure I'm really getting a good sweet angle. Everybody loves a little creativity on the subway, right, man? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to warn you this morning. Watch Please out. don't die in sin and end up in hell. People might bore the hell out of you on the subway. Ladies and gentlemen. People might let you know Jesus, that they don't like what you're doing. He love you. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, repent from your sins. I take all my best ideas to the subway to yell at people about them. Those are my, my best, most actionable thoughts. Ladies and gentlemen, young lady or young man, wait till you get married and please don't commit fornication this morning. I want to tell you, if you don't repent from that way of living, and you die that way. What if everybody God had, will judge you? What if everybody ladies wanted and just to be quiet? What if we just wanted not to hear you yell at us about your religion? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you. It's amazing. I have it's to amazing. tell you the truth. How rude can ladies you get? Gentlemen, nobody else has an idea dumb enough you, to God God yell at on the subway. Adam and Eve. But we God can yell over you. One man we can yell anything we want. One Woman we can yell anything we want because we're all allowed to yell on the subway. We don't all yell on the subway though because it's really rude and nobody gives a shit what you have to say. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't create two women to That's get cool. married. If I was out of ideas, I'd take my ideas to the subway to get too. Married, the very last thing you might be able to do. A Imagine how profoundly bereft a of other, of better ideas man. you might. I got a good one in your face anyways, man. Don't worry. I got time, man. This is my day off. I can, I can, I can follow you all day. Or you could just sit down and be quiet and keep your ideas Ladies to yourself. And gentlemen, because I want really, to tell you, I don't know whose work you think the you're Bible doing. says. The Bible says, "Don't shout on the subway." Ladies and gentlemen, that's commandment number three, man. The Bible says, "Don't shout on the subway." And make this sure you're right says, before you shout on the subway. God gave them up to vile passion. Yep. Yeah. Even their women exchange a natural youth for sure what is against if nature. If you're a bigot, you better head to the subway so they can let everyone know what you think. What a smart, Ladies smart man you must be. Romans 1, 26, read it in the Bible. I think I saw that Romans in the Simpsons, too. Romans 127. Romans 127 is the one where Lenny and Carl have a fight. And they put them both to make up. 
They will leave the natural use of the woman. You're literally hiding behind the Bible. Lust, the hiding behind the Bible is a pretty dumb, stupid thing to do. Men with men committing what is shameful so in the sight of it. God. Now we get to it. Are receiving in themselves I have smart ideas too. Yeah. of their own error. Absolutely. Which was going to get a little better there. sound here, so I'm going to go right in front of you here. Ladies and gentlemen, just I want to make sure that everybody can hear. So I'm going to put this on YouTube and everybody will know, oh my God, that's the way that I in my mind. That's the subway we that I We're finally in my we mind got changed. Finally some idiot reached out to the subway and convinced me that being gay is bad. That's you. And instead shouting on the subway that's is smart. You, that shouting on the subway is the best well, thing I had on a Thursday night. Ladies and gentlemen, that no, every idle word a man speaks, he will give an account of it in the day of judgment. Absolutely. One day, God is watching is everything that's going like on. God bless you, like young Gigi Woodhouse. God bless you, young man. Books. Absolutely. Get a good picture of the Bible. No, man, I'm getting you. I want you. to tell you. I'm getting a smart guy in the subway with a bunch of ideas. He's this to man, share. God bless you. Everybody Have read a it. Day. That's right. Don't go to hell. Maybe Please don't end up in hell. Another train might God not ask you to shut the hell up. Day.